Violet, are you ready to weld? No. I want to. Alright, so for everybody who's missing Heather, she's behind the camera today. So we got this tank in here. A customer dropped it off. Had a 200 gallon water tank custom built. He doesn't like the way how these razor sharp lifting lugs turn out for him. And he doesn't like that the guy built him a sprinkler system where he can like water everything while he has this in the back of his truck. There's a few pinholes down in there. Nice job on the brake press and the cut. Nice fit up. But unfortunately everything is wire welded without pulse. And with the cold starts and stops, probably no preheat. That's where some cold fusion and some pinholes came in. So, my little helper and myself, we're gonna check it out now. Like right here is incomplete fusion. Up here is a legitimate pinhole, not just peppering in the weld. Incomplete fusion there. And a whole bunch more on the bottom. We're gonna use a TIG welder to fix everything. And then make new lifting lugs. Designed on the computer, CNC cut, nice and big for a big strap. That'll look nice and appealing and now no sharp edges. My trusty HTP Invertic 201 ACDC with water cooler. I've had it for almost 12 years. It never missed a beat.
So that's the alternative to TIG welding. Whenever you weld on cardboard, make sure it's OSHA approved flame retardant safety cardboard. Do as I say, don't do as I do. The HTP Pro Pulse 200, which has a program called Double Pulse, it's a pulse on pulse system where it makes it look like a stack of dime, almost like a TIG look. So, first you see the hot start function. I didn't preheat the aluminum, it's still cold. And um, then there's a crater fill at the end where it hopefully prevents the crater crack. This is 4043 wire. Um, 035 diameter at 275 inches a minute, 35% uh, uh, hot start, trigger controlled, and um, three second crater fill. Absolutely necessary because 
the torch movements without adding filler material can make up for preheat. Outfitted with a passive filter plate, shade 10. It's a real glass filter plate and it works summer, winter, rain, shine, with or without batteries and is absolutely reliable and the tint is 100% even. Some automatic welding hoods have problems with any welding process that has a frequency involved like AC aluminum TIG welding or pulse welding where the frequency of the welding machine overlays the frequency of the welding helmet and causes it to act up. Thanks for watching. The customer was really happy with the results, how everything came out. No further leaks and we will be seeing him next time again.